This video is brought to you by Kennel Grim and Grin's own Screams from the Crypt. 20 tales of horror, sci-fi, and suspense. Available now. Hello, I'm Grim Grindle, and welcome back to this build request, which will likely be short and sweet, which is good, as I still don't entirely have my voice back. Today I'm building the Kazooie Copter, which was requested by Harry Singh, Caden and S, George Howells, Sea of Pixels, Ken Bono, and probably a lot of other people too. Of the people named here, it's been referred to as both the Banjo Copter and the Kazooie Copter, so no doubt it's been called other things in the comments as well, which kind of makes it hard to search for all of the requests in the comments when I'm looking to mention them. But this is for anyone who's wanted it, regardless of whether or not you've been mentioned, and if you haven't, I do apologise. In fact, looking at the manual now, literally no one that's requested this vehicle has actually requested it by its proper spelling, because its proper spelling is rather dumb, so as you can imagine, it's kind of all over the place. But for those not familiar, the Kazooie Copter is a vehicle that was used in some of the promotional material for the game, including one of the trailers for the game, as well as being featured on the box art and in a little fold-out poster that comes with the game. I made this vehicle while the internet was down, as it so often is, but is even more so than normal, what with everyone being forced to work from home, resulting in our laughably inadequate internet often being overloaded, highlighting the frighteningly inadequate infrastructure forced upon us by a government with less foresight than morals, but only slightly. But, I digress, what I'm trying to get at is, without the internet available, my only two references for this build was the game art and the manual, and unfortunately not the game trailer, so if you're asking me why it doesn't have a self-destruct at the end of this video, it's because it wasn't until later I realised it should have one. And so the Kazooie Copter. It's not a super complicated or super interesting build so far as its design alone goes, but it is kind of interesting as far as the references go. I say this because of the two reference photos of the game that actually came with the game, one of the two is not actually representative of the game itself, in that it is clearly a picture of a vehicle built in an earlier build of the game, as it features items that don't actually exist in the final release of the game. I am of course referring to the weapons on the side here that in appearance resemble old fashioned machine guns, and interestingly as well, it is the same build shown here in the poster that is also shown in the trailer of the game, so it must have been a pretty late removal to take away these more realistic guns and replace them with the egg guns. If I remember correctly, it was because they were too realistic that they were replaced, though take that with a grain of salt as this is a build request video and not a research paper, so I've not looked up or sourced that bit of information to confirm it, I'm just going from my foggy memory. And further interestingly, the Kazooie Copter is not the only one to have items no longer listed in the game featured, as the Banjo Bike also has a Gatling gun on it, and I don't think its back wheel would work too well as it is with the hit detection in the game. I've not tested it myself, but off the top of my head from memory, it would just be warping through the bottom of the floor, because monster truck wheels don't exactly work too well on their side. But as I said, I've not tested it, I'm just theorising. And interestingly, on the box art, they actually just remove the guns rather than upgrade them to the egg guns. I did, in my final build, put egg guns on the side, even though they're not featured in any picture of the vehicle in any of the promotional material. And this was really just because I wanted to, so I did. Both the poster and the box art show the vehicle from the same third point perspective, though flipped around, but luckily you can just and so make out details that allow you to extrapolate what a lot of the build should look like. There are mild differences between them, for instance the Kazooie Copter in the poster doesn't seem to have a sticky ball while the game art does. I've put a sticky ball in there because it helps hold the entire back together, and since the build for the most part goes for symmetry as we can see by its two flipped images, I was able to extrapolate a lot of what I can't see from what I could. The only real break to the symmetry I did is opposite to the smoke screen item I put a super engine, this was because there was no engine featured on the vehicle yet, and there's only one smokescreen item, so I figured something else should balance it out. I think in reality that's probably where the self-destruct went, and the engine is maybe underneath the driver's seat. But this is what I went with, if you want to build the vehicle yourself, feel free to change it around for a little more accuracy. And so there you have it, the Kazooie Copter from Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts promotional material in Banjo-Kazooie Nuts and Bolts. Probably one of the first vehicles the developers ever actually built as evidence from the outdated items on the vehicle in the promotional material, now available for you to fly yourself. 
As always, what will follow now is the layer by layer. Feel free to build it and copy it into your own save. Check out Grin's book Screams from the Crypt. Follow me on social media and join our Discord, the Echo Chamber, links are below. And most importantly, stay safe in these strange times. And until next time, I have been, and still am, Grim Grindle. Screams from the crypt, as heard by Darkwell Bled. Twenty tales of horror, sci-fi, and suspense. Available now.